Go. We, we are, are the Eternals. Not really. It's just me and my clones. Yep, I figured out how to clone myself. Definitely not using a green screen. Yo, what is up, movie lovers? It's your boy, VT Chris Plays, aka Ishan, and today we're going to be talking about the latest installment in the MCU franchise, introducing some celestial beings. With the movie known as The Eternals. I'm gonna have to be really careful with this review because it's gonna be hard to avoid spoilers. As you can probably tell from the title of the movie, this movie introduces us to the Eternals, which are celestial beings created by the Celestials themselves in order to, to watch over certain planets. And I mean, on Earth there are only 10, but there are a lot more Eternals with my, many being on different planets. So the gist of it is that the Eternals have to protect Earth from the Deviants. This is because the Celestials want the inhabitants of the planet, or in this case humans for Earth, they want humans to grow on their own and develop. So that's also the reason why the Eternals can't interfere with matters like what Thanos did snapping half the world away, or half the universe away, because they want the humans to grow and develop on their own and solve their own problems. Everything would be much easier if the Celestials could, I mean, if the Eternals could be involved or the Celestials could be involved. So, yeah, but when it comes to Deviants, which want to prevent these human growth, the Eternals involve themselves to stop them. So, after, the, after Iron Man snapped half the universe back, the Earth began to undergo a process known as the Emergence. And the Celestials want this Emergence to occur, and in order to allow the planet to develop to the point where the Emergence to occur, the Eternals were sent to stop the Deviants from interfering with human growth. Honestly, depending on how you look at it, this Emergence can be a good thing or a bad thing. It's all perspective. In this movie, the story develops really slowly, and on top of that, the story kind of takes a back seat. I mean, the, the movie more focuses on the characters themselves, the Eternals. The movie focuses on showing you the Eternals' personality, like each individual Eternals' personality, their character, how the character has developed since the 7,000, during the 7,000 years, how their relationship is with each and every other Eternal. And honestly, depending on how you feel about that factor of uh, watching the characters interact with each other and their history over these past 7,000 years, that will determine whether you like this movie or not. I mean, it really feels like Marvel just made this movie so they can introduce you to the Eternals for future movies and here you're just getting to know them and what they've been up to for the, two for the past 7,000 years so they can cover up potential plot holes in the future. Some wanted to hang out with uh, some Eternals, others wanted to live isolated alone. One of the things I was most hyped about for this movie was the introduction of Bollywood with Kingo. But that was a disaster and did Bollywood dirty. And people were pissed. I mean, just seeing the Bollywood sequence they had, it was kind of a piss off to see what it was compared to what Bollywood actually is. I um, being brown, I actually watched a lot of Bollywood, so yeah, it felt not very pleasing. But Marvel quickly redeemed themselves with the introduction of the greatest character in this movie, Karun Patel. I mean, they did Bollywood injustice, but this character makes up for it entirely. He is Kingo's valet, and when Kingo decides to start vlogging his entire journey, making a documentary out of it, Karun is his videographer, and he's an absolute blast to watch on the screen. He steals the spotlight whenever he's on screen. Absolutely hilarious character. And overall, he was just a great character to watch, and you fall in love with that guy pretty quick. And at the end, when he says goodbye, that's easily the most heart-touching moment in the movie. Other than exploring each Eternal, this, this movie's story was quite simple. And like I said earlier, it took a backseat because it was quite simple and straightforward. Uh, there's a plot twist which is predictable right from the beginning of the movie. Aside from the story, the movie even put some of the Eternals on the sidelines by the end of the movie. Like, they were kind of showing that they weren't putting major importance on some of the Eternals, but in the final conflict, they literally just tossed them on the sideline, like Kingo, Tina, Ajak, Druig. Like, we don't really see them in the final conflict. I mean, you see them here and there, but not as involved as Cersei or Sprite or Icarus. I mean, it's like they're putting some importance on some Eternals over the others, which is kind of weird, uh, especially considering that the post credit scene is sh uh, amplifying importance on the other Eternals. It just felt weird, honestly, that... It's an eternal movie, but it's only focusing on a few other than all of them together. With the emergence being such a big issue, it feels like they stopped it way too quickly and way too easily, even though the movie was so long. 
And yeah, and speaking of the movie being long, by the final half hour of the movie, you're just waiting for it to end because it feels way too long. The ending was still really enjoyable. Alright, and just a heads up, there are two post credit scenes, both of which are extremely interesting, setting up the future of the MCU and uh, setting up a sequel for The Eternals. But, I mean, I think fans will be most excited for the first post credit scene, especially if they're a fan of a certain actor, singer, person. Harry Styles. Yeah. Harry Styles fans will go crazy wanting to watch this movie, considering that he has finally entered the MCU. Anyways, as we expected from the trailer itself, the visuals in this movie were absolutely stunning. Like, they were just gorgeous to watch. All the CGI, all the cinematography, all that was absolutely amazing and brilliant. I highly suggest that if you watch this movie, you watch it in either Ultra AVX or IMAX. I mean, I don't, I don't know about America, this is for Canada mainly, I don't know what they got there, but watch in Ultra ABX or IMAX. IMAX. The soundtrack for this movie was also really great. The movie wasn't really that immersive, I mean, like, you're aware you're in a theater watching this movie, and it's probably only worth a rewatch if you're doing a Marvel marathon. Other than that, I feel like if you're going to watch it, you're only going to want to, only going to, want to watch certain scenes, and you'll, you can probably find those on YouTube. So basically in this movie how it works is if you if you think you'll enjoy watching the Eternals, learning of what they're doing and learning about their characters, then you'll love this movie. If you're not interested in watching that and you want a more intricate storyline or something like that involving the Eternals, this movie doesn't have that and you're not really going to enjoy this movie as much. Though you won't hate it to a point where you'll want to give it a one star rating like a lot of crazy people out there. So I like this movie and depending on what you think of the characters, you may or may not like it. Overall, I'm rating this movie a 78%, and yes, I know I'm rating it a little more on the high end. I mean, I think this movie is definitely one all Marvel fans and are going to check out for sure, and it's one you're going to want to watch, obviously, if you're going to want to try and keep up with the MCU. And, I mean, if you, it's not really that great for a standalone movie if you want to watch it as a standalone, though, if you're a fan of CGI and visuals, you'll definitely love the stunning visuals in this movie. And with that being said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Have you seen this movie? What do you think of it? And what do you rate it? And as movies keep on coming, I'm going to keep on reviewing. So don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button with the bell icon. So you're the first to be notified when these videos drop. I'm VT, the king of TV. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!